Workspace settings in VS Code let you configure settings that apply just to the current project. This can be useful for teams that are working in shared code bases and you want to make sure that everybody that's working on a certain project has the same formatting settings, for example. Or if you're an individual that's working between multiple different projects, sometimes you need settings that are only applied in one of those projects and don't affect all of the other ones. Now let's take a look here at using workspace settings to configure different color themes in two different workspaces. You can use workspace settings to configure pretty much any setting in VS Code, but the color theme is a nice obvious one to show the behavior of workspace settings. To start with, I'm going to open up my settings by pressing control comma on Windows or Linux or command comma on Mac. And by default, VS Code is showing you the user settings. So these are the ones that are shared between all of the different projects that you're working on. To switch to the workspace settings, I just have to go and switch, click on this little tab here and switch over to workspace. And now whenever we set a setting here, it will apply only to the current workspace and it will actually be written into that workspace as well. So we could go and check in the workspace settings. Anybody that clones the project could also pick up those settings. Now I'm going to search for the setting that I'm interested in. So I'll do color theme and I'll go find workbench color theme. Let's go set that to Monokai in this workspace. And you can see that it has applied the Monokai theme here. Now I'm going to go open my other workspace. So I'm going to open the VS Code workspace. I was in TypeScript before. And you'll see that when I switch over to the VS Code workspace, it goes back to dark plus. That is because it the workspace setting was, again, saved in the TypeScript workspace that we were in previously instead of um, being applied globally. Now inside of this other workspace, I could go and set the color theme to something completely different. So I could go to, let's do Monokai dimmed here. And you can see that it is now applied in this workspace. And then when I switch back to the TypeScript workspace, we'll load up the original Monokai theme in this one. So just switching between these two workspaces will now switch the color theme. Now, the important thing to note is that the workspace settings override your user settings. So if I had a more specific, if I had a user setting that was setting some fancy color theme, the workspace settings would have overridden those. You can always see that there'll be a little indicator in the user settings that tells you the setting has been overridden here. So it says modified in workspace. So you can always detect that. So that's a quick look at workspace settings in VS Code. They're really useful for working in shared code bases or if you're an individual managing multiple projects.